I have been challenged. Oh, part two, by the part twenty-two. Sorry, but I have been challenged. Climax three thirty-three South La Boya Boulevard, eight p.m. to two a.m. They gonna feature friendly and the boneheads and the fabulous poor man. Plus a full-length motion picture. Fabulous door prize is gonna be given away. They also gonna be giving away radios, car, home, and auto equipment. Admission price is three fifty for the guys. Dollars for the girls and tickets available at the door only, so you be first in line. I've been challenged to make a sci-fi movie. I'm not entirely sure that's going to happen, but we'll see. That seems about right. Ah, oh, yeah. What's better, cutting edge or superb? No idea. Damn, my movies are getting close to five stars. What the fuck? Please say that's the end. Thank you. That movie was weird. Sweet. Of course it's number one movie. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, really. I was going to get her some cosmetic surgery, wasn't I? Plants and such. <laughs> Kami seek to assimilate space. Okay. There's way over here. Of course, I can't see it. it? What was the vent over there? I I'll start the. Uh... What just happened? I'll start the uh, movie making after the awards ceremony. Okay. What are you having a problem with? Salary. Holy Jesus. Huge problem with that. Okay. <coughs> ah. Alright. 
Alright. Yeah, you can shut the fuck up now. Alright, your stress is pretty good. Here. Go good. Implants, I guess. B. We'll get drunk, you maggot. Oh, Lawrence is pretty high up there, too. War is long, I love that. Okay, stop it. Does it have any public awareness? Yes, it does. Nice. How is this budget? Sounds about good. Good star relationships? Huh. That's rather surprising. Eh, not the best movie. But whatever. too much. Good. And rank 7 movie. That's actually amazing, to be honest. This... I mean, like, what the hell? Oh, well. Whatever. Oh, they're just acquaintances. Whoops. Yeah, let's not have you do that. Your stress is good. Yours isn't so much. Yours is not either. Why are you stressed? Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Oh my god, I almost have a five-star studio. Holy Jesus. How do I make that better? I'm so far ahead. Holy shit. To make better movies and more awards. And I will have a five-star studio. I have literally never accomplished that in the years of me owning this game. My god, this is going to be awesome. I just need to make an amazing movie. <laughs> hey, your implants dog or what? Quarter past the hour with the mad dog on one twenty one point five KM. Guess we'll find out or something. See if that helped her at all. What are you... Really? That's... I guess that's stressful. I guess there's... I guess there is some logic behind that, but still, come on. Just... Don't get drunk if you're having that much of a problem. No, I can't hire any more scientists, so stop complaining. Like, you're gonna go work... No, not crew, not crew, no. Janitor. You're gonna be a builder. I know. And we'll get there, eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 
Is that Stanley? No, I don't want to talk about it. Is that Jackie Chan? Tonight, we'll be revealing the winners of the most prestigious awards in movie making. So without further delay, let's move on to our first category. The short list for highest charting star is... Well, me, obviously. Olivia is still at the top. And the winner is... Who guessed it? Now it's time to see the nominees for highest charting newcomer. Bony? Those are the guys that opened up? <laughs> That's it? Gee, I wonder who won. And the winner is... Bony Studios! Seeing as there was no competition. Moving on to the award for Best Better be Direction. me. The nominees are... Bony Studios got a nomination? What the bull? Exactly. George is going to be directing the sci-fi movie, I'm guessing. Gonna need to build some more sets. Here are the names of the talented stars shortlisted for the most prolific star award. I have no idea. I'm going to guess Rigor Mortis. A star who has certainly been busy lately. Called it. Ranking Studio Award. Our nominees me. are me and me. Exactly. It's enjoyed huge success. Please put your hands together for Who called it? <laughs> Definitely not me, obviously. No way. Like any industry, there are ups and downs. But our next award for highest climbing studio is awarded to the studio that has managed to climb the most amount of chart places. And the nominees are... I don't think it's me, is it? I'm gonna go with Cletus. Shotgun, actually. And the winner is... Cletus' shotgun. Oh, dude! Companies vying for the award of most prolific studio is most prolific studio. Well, I'm gonna go with Rigor Mortis. It's been a busy few years for this studio. It's Bowl. That was my second guess, and my third was Old Rope. Next, we have our award from That'd be me, seeing as I have that maxed out, so... Whatever. A deserved victory for... Exactly. And I got Age of Discovery now, which is fantastically ridiculous. I don't think it's gonna be me. Go with I don't know, Bony. Oh, cool! I got nominated. Don't think I'm gonna win though. I suck at being an employer. They're my slaves, not my employees. All the and highest rating movie would be me. Cause I have the number one movie. The nominees for highest charging movie are. Wow, Cletus and Boney have been really at it, haven't they? Been trying to get it above me. It's been on fire in the charts. It's exactly. Five awards yet again. And so we come to the conclusion of this year's award ceremony. We've witnessed some truly talented individuals and companies rewarded for their hard work tonight. Make sure you join us next time. Hmm when we'll be introducing a new award for Best Acting Performance and giving it to the star who's put in the acting best performance in a movie. We'd like to
to thank you all for joining us. That should be interesting to get. I've gotten a lot of awards, haven't I? Just need to get the damn star milestone, and then I'll have six of the seven. Sweet. It's the era of the blockbuster. Exciting new developments in a new generation moviegoers means big budget movies. First, you'll want to get oh, a team shit. of daredevils ready to risk life and limb in pursuit of the perfect shot. What you need is a stunt Are you man. serious? Building a stunt school will attract just the kind of fearless oh, crazies God. we're looking for. Build a stunt school when you're ready to begin the stunts tutorial. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Actually, it is good. It's kind of amazing. I knew it was 1962. Can't fit it in there. Wonderful. Hey, the streets are burning out there. The people are stressed and the movie industry is as mad as it gets. You're about to go crazy, but chill out. I am the shrink from the drink, Mad Dog, and it'll make you well. I need to somehow place this closer to my entrance. I don't think I really have any options. Oh, well, I can get rid of these. Yeah, these two buildings could go away. Build a stunt school when you're ready to begin Which the stunt tutorial. Which means do it tutorial. right now or I will kill you. Not really, but it's close enough. Oh, let's get some janitors over here. Fox. Including our inexperienced ones, because they could use the experience. I'll just drag these around somewhere else. There. All these unnecessary things, including this. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys could just finish this stuff up, that'd be great. Please do that right now. What the hell are you doing? Baby, I'm it's hot in this studio. Mad dog needs a drink. Oh, a little lubrication. Hey, somebody, anybody, get me a drink. It's a thousand degrees in the <laughs> what? Oh, you're you're amazing. He is amazing, to be honest. Let's build some sci-fi stuff, like Alien World. That'll actually be really useful, because that's kind of what I had in mind, is to use an Alien World, so... Uh, let's not get rid of anything else, though. Let's just use the Alien World. Where the hell do I put it, though? Right there, apparently. So that's done. Well, it's being built. It's not done. Gosh. Oh, I saw that. There we go. Just put it right there. Whatever. Whatever works. Now, Sci-Fi Starship Bridge 2. I'm pretty sure I could fit this somewhere over here. I think there is a spot. Yes, I'm pretty sure I could fit it. Yes, I can. It right there. Awesome. So I believe that's all the sci-fi sets I can make. I think so. Yep. Half off. <laughs> you really excited about the honeymoon with the mad dog, aren't you? Sure, whatever you say, mad dog. Crazy old fool. Alright. We can get those sets built. 
What are you talking about? There's no research packs available for him to research on. I still have to get ultimate tech. I'm pretty sure tech is basically done, so... You start working on this. Alright, I need that stunt school built. So we can begin the stunts tutorial, whatever. Holy Jesus, she is happy and she's rank 2? What? That doesn't even make sense. Alright, but. Send you through nip and tuck. Oh great, my studio writing went slightly down. That's wonderful. So I believe we got all the sci-fi stuff built. That's good. Alright, stunt place is built. The wannabe stuntmen lined up outside your stunt school have two important new bars in their information bubbles. Stunt skill is their ability to perform stunts, and condition their physical fitness. Both will be factors in the success of any stunt they attempt. Pick your favorite wannabe stuntman and hire them by dropping them into the Create Stuntman room. Due to retire what? Georgia? Good choice. Now that you have a stuntman, you're ready to make your first stunt no, move. I want you to retire. You're awesome. It means I have to somehow replace her. Oh god. As a one-off bonus, your first stuntman came with a basic stunt script, and it's sitting at your studio gates. Okay then. Let's make this... stunt. As you can see from the script's stunt schedule bubble, the very first scene requires a lead role to perform a low difficulty stunt. Lead actors will automatically attempt any stunts that their roles require, but it makes more sense to use your trained stuntmen to act as their stunt double. That's where I find. Oh, that's where I find the stuntman. The script's stunt doubles bubble shows which lead roles are eligible for stunt doubles and the difficulty of their hardest stunt. Drop the script into the shoot it room once rehearsals what are finished. problem are they having? They're not having any problem. What am I talking about? I gotta tell you, there's something about today that will make it <laughs> risky. Yep, if you're a girl, get down here and listen to the sort of music I broadcasting to. Okay, that's not creepy. And we have nothing to research. Wonderful. Here, go into that thing. This rehearsal is finished. Shoot it. This pulsing stuntman icon will warn you whenever a stunt is about okay. to be shot. During shooting, each stunt is judged as a stunt success or a stunt failure. A stunt success can greatly a stunt failure will still appear in the finished movie. Hence, made damage movie quality. Now, let's see sure, how we'll your that first stunt finish. turns out. You know, making my custom sci-fi movie script. Alien under my bed, what the fuck? Who's my best sci-fi actor, actress? Definitely not Hermione, good lord. Olivia Cooney? She's not very good at sci-fi, don't be stupid. No, you're gonna be lead. Your sci-fi in comparison to her sci-fi? Oh, she doesn't have sci-fi skill compared to her. Not very much difference. I guess it's good from there. Okay, introduction. Sci-fi, Starship Bridge 2, actually. If I have it, there we go. Um... Ego walk. I want to see this. Huh. 
Who is this? Don't know. Who is our lead? You are Jenna. She's doing that. Okay. Well, the outfit you have right now. It's actually not terrible. So let's save this. Save custom. Custom. Sci fi thing. The ganging. So that'll be her costume, of course. And we're gonna throw someone in there. Where are we gonna throw someone in? Um, no, not James Fist. You, Manly Joe. And Lawrence is going to be right there. Because I want them to be. You're not going to be an alien, however. No, you're going to be a human. this. That's really weird. <laughs> Swing in the 60s. I like it. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. That's not scary. How do I get rid of the top thing? Okay, that's how I do it. That's not terrible. Let's save it as... Is this Joe's, I think? Cancel. Yeah, manly sci-fi. So this will be his costume for the movie. Oh god. And you have to be something else as well. Actually, you know what? You'll be the... So... Lawrence Sci-Fi. You'll be the, uh... Alien. Guy. That works with the humans for some strange reason. That we'll probably... Probably never know. Oh well. Do I have any extras? Where's it? Extras. Here's the extras. Any of you good at Sci-Fi? Any? At all? Not really, but put you in there anyway. Just for the sake of being cool. You can go there. I said you can go there. And you can go there. And that would place all of them in the scene. Um there's still one person missing. So screw it, we'll have you in there. So just have everyone, why not, right? That took way too long to make one thing. <laughs> what are the sliders? Ego level, gentle, neutral. Moderate. <laughs> Let's go with neutral. That's cool. Then no one else is really necessary, though. I'm pulling you out of this scene. No. Pulling you out of this scene. And you. And you, because you're not even going to be seen, so... Okay. No, I said pull you out of the scene. So it's not necessary to have you people in there. Alright, check that. Starship Bridge 2. Critical moment in a conversation. Be like, who is this? Lawrence. Okay. I need to make sure they're in the right costumes. So how would I load?
I didn't save it, did I? Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, let's just save it then. I did, though. Why the hell is it not there? Cancel that, I guess. And come on. You are not supposed to change costume. Good lord, no. There we go. It's not actually sci fi, but who really cares? Ages. Oh god, no. I like. Alright, Manly Jew. You're gonna be sitting there as you were in the last scene. You're not gonna be wearing that, good lord, no. You're gonna be wearing manly sci fi. Pause the recording for a second, so hopefully it'll not have too much audio lag. Okay, hopefully audio lag should be fairly gone. That's what I would hope, at least. Alright, that's good. Then I need, uh, violence, I guess? Explosion jolts someone. They're like, oh shit, I don't know what just happened. What the F? Get into your sci fi costume. You yeah, glorious maggot. And who is this person in the background? No, not you. Don't be. Actually, yeah. You. I don't want you to change your costume, though. Oh my god, are you kissing? Kissing? What the hell? Are you kidding me? Where the fuck is the alien? Oh my god. Ah, son of a bitch. This thing isn't working and it's bothering the hell out of me. In case you didn't notice. No, I'll go to this. Oh, it's a demon that I still want to save as save costume co costume. Why is it not there? That is pissing me off. Oh my god. Fucking hell. It's actually supposed to be a demon, apparently. Or not? What the hell is he supposed to be? God fucking damn it. Honestly. It's not supposed to be the marsh creeper creature thing. 
For what? What is this costume? No, undo that. <sighs> Fuck. This damn game would just save the fucking costume. Then I'd be good. But no, it has to be goddamn annoying and not tell me what the goddamn costume is, so I can't continue to use it. Look at this. It's nowhere to be found. So just two options? There's two options. There is no... What the hell? This costume does not exist. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'll just... Okay, I won't have it be him. I'll have it be this guy instead. Because at least his goddamn costume will save. No sliders for this one. And what will this look like? Uh, extras off. I just want these two going in. And violence. Corridor shootout, yes please. Don't tell me that's... Oh, where the hell's Lawrence? What the bull? <sighs> Whatever. No, not Hermione. Jenna, you right there. And Joe right there, I guess. What is going on? I don't know, who wins? Actually, yeah, I could use that. Okay. So this is Jenna, so go to your costume, please. Thank you. Go to your costume. Sweet. Where are their extras? There are no extras, don't be stupid. It's I hope they turn into... Yes, there we go. The aliens. Let's watch this again. Awesome! No. All right, and then corridor two, and then resolution, I guess. No, where's the one where it's like dying arms? Is it this one? Guess not. Let's see if I can find it. Um,
escape. <laughs> oh my god. Person tries mellow del dies melodramatically. That, that's awesome. So that it is Jenna. No, oh, Jenna. Costume change, please. Thank you. Where would extras come in? Oh, let's see. I don't really care about those, though. I just want to focus on her. Now where the hell is dying in arms, honestly? No. Oh, this person dies. Suggested. Oh, thanks. Resolution. Ain't over yet, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it'll be between Jew and the alien. Not you. Oh, are you kidding me? What the hell is that? Fucking goddammit. Okay. Go back to the previous scene and see... No, not that scene. This scene. Shootout. And see who... Who is left, actually? Who was the one who was left? I don't know. Who is this? <laughs> Lola Texier. Lola Sci-Fi. Will you please save it this time? Oh my fucking god. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, screw it. They're all going to be webbed aliens. Actually, no, he'll be the big baddie or something, I don't know. We'll see. So this actually has to be Lola instead of what's-her-face. Still has to be the big red webbed alien, though. Alright. Manly sapphire. That's what I'm talking about. Who would the extras be? Where would the extras be? Oh, dead people. Okay. So I could put what's her face? You right here. And switch you to your costume. My god, we're at 42 minutes. <laughs> this video should not be this long, but it is, so sucks. Oh no! That's how it'll be. Defeat. Okay, good. It's a bunch of scenes. 
many scenes is that? Seven scenes. Oh my god, lag. I'm guessing this needs to end. Okay, we're gonna end this here. See you guys later.